We're looking at two logos here. The brand new one seems a little slim down, doesn't have all the obvious embroiderment that the original has, but it does have these new slashes here in the middle, as we all noticed, that's definitely evidence for. Some noted the original developers for 3DS and Wii U version were Bandai Namco and Sora, but that has now changed to HAL Laboratory. Considering this, there may have just been two teams developing separate Smash games over the last three years. Not to mention that all of Smash Brothers' website has been officially revamped and it seems like they're starting off on a whole new slate, along with the words original game being used to describe what this title will be. On the flip side, shout out to Wolfie for this, Amazon has on their manufacturer description, Wii U in the name of this list. If this truly was a brand new game, why would that be in the manufacturer reference? Could just be placeholder data like the December 31st release date, but it does raise an eyebrow. Gimmer pointed out, and by the way, shout out to you, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe reveal trailer, this is when it was first shown to us, has a 2017 date at the bottom for copyright. This is most likely due to it being on new hardware. This doesn't mean that it can't be a new game, but it does mean that the irrefutable argument of it being a new game is a little shaky because then Mario Kart 8 Deluxe wouldn't have fit into that same criteria. However, one of the strongest points in favor of this being new is coming straight from Artsy Omni. This nigga, I swear, most of his brain capacity is held in his hair as well. If you think Smash Switch is a four port, bear in mind four was developed in 2.5 years um, from February 2016, the Bayonetta release, up till now, that would be August 2018 for 2.5, same amount of time as development on four. So if five is released in November, then they could have even had a break for a few months. In terms of possibilities, this one is real. I mean, it seems to me like the break between 4 and this Switch version, if it is a new game, is very small. Um, compared to all the other breaks, I don't think we've ever seen one this minuscule, but knowing that the Switch was coming from earlier on, Sakurai could have easily gotten the heads up from Iwata, and, and as we know, those two were really good friends, and he could have had this in development along with HAL Laboratory working on 5. Considering Sakurai's sneaky nature, I don't put this past him. It also seems like a new game just based on the aesthetic. With 4, it was always a letter that came in the mail or something like that. It was kind of like a cool invitation, but 5 seems like, or I'm calling it 5, this new Switch game takes you into another dimension. The way that the Inkling girl comes across the roster is nothing like what we've seen before. A huge flaming circle in the sky with silhouetted characters. A whole overall theme change seems like it's in play here. Um, this is a shout out to Shaboodle, who kind of raised my uh, awareness to this. It's like you're being transported to the Smash dimension. All other trailers don't seem to have this sort of feel to them when bringing in a whole new character. And let's not forget the company trolling from earlier, Nintendo and other companies jumping on the bandwagon of posting characters flaming on fire. Um, it fits the theme of Smash Brothers pretty well, which makes you wonder if these companies were in on the joke the entire time. Most likely they were. Smash Brothers 5 or Smash Brothers 4 port on the Switch seems to have a flame aesthetic from what we can see right now. And Kentendo has a solid point too, stating that the rating pending didn't happen when the Mario Kart 8 port was put on their website. So this in mind, on top of working title, it really speaks strongly for this being a new game. Otherwise, it would have just carried its E10 from the 3DS and Wii U versions. And on top of it all, the press release for this game listed as an all new one. Specifically, Smash Bros. series coming to the Switch in an all new game. There's a lot of evidence for and against but I'm gonna have to say, I think this is a new game. In my prior video, I said the opposite, but the evidence right now just seems far too strong. The main ones being the aesthetic being different on how the newcomers get bought in, the working title with rating pending. Don't let this get your head big because there's also evidence on the contrary. The copyright date argument being debunked, Wii U being listed in the manufacturer reference, along with the drought of information simply being withheld due to the element of surprise that Sakurai loves so much. Either way, this seems like all the information that we can compile for right now. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are you team new game or old port? Take care of yourselves and of course as usual please have yourself a damn good one.